One of the biggest misconceptions in system design interviews is that you need deep hands-on experience with every technology you mention in your design. Say you suggest using a load balancer to distribute traffic. No one expects you to have written the code for a load balancer or used it in your past experience. What matters is that you understand why you're using it, the problems it solves, the trade-offs, and how it fits into your overall design. Honestly, even the person interviewing you might not know what the code for a load balancer looks like. They just know where it fits and what it's suitable for, and that's what you're being evaluated on. The same applies to tools like Redis, Kafka, or sharded databases. You don't need to have used them at work, but you need to understand when and why they are useful. That clarity only comes with practicing and studying different types of systems. If you limit yourself to only tools and systems you've personally used, you might miss better solutions or completely misjudge what your system can handle. Just because a setup worked for a few hundred users at your job doesn't mean it can scale to millions in your interview scenario. System design interviews aren't about what you've personally used or built before. It's about showing how you think, reason, and solve real-world problems under constraints. If you've got a system design or a technical interview coming up or just want to stay sharp, apply for my technical interview coaching program. It's a one-on-one -on -one coaching experience focused on understanding and execution. You'll learn how to understand what the question is really testing, apply the right design principles and trade-offs, and communicate your thinking clearly. We won't just memorize architectures. You'll learn how to design and explain your systems with confidence. Head over to umacodes.com to apply today.